is all the best in me. When everyone else around can only see the worst in me. Wish I had a witness in this place today. Said he saw the best in me, my Lord. Uh, everyone else around could only see the worst in me. I wish I had a witness. All I need is one to help me say uh, he saw the best in me. Uh, and everyone else, and everyone else. Everyone else. sing my verse one time just sing it one time and listen so he is mine I am his it doesn't matter what I did for he only sees in me who I am does anybody know that today oh, he is mine I am his what I did, but he only sees me for who I am. Help me sing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that he's mine. I am here. Does it matter what I did? He only sees me. Is teaching and preaching to be easy, but yokes will not be broken because broken things can be fixed. The yokes will be destroyed under the weight of your glory. I thank you in advance for what you want to name. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone in this place said, Amen. The Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 17, verse 46. When you're hearing, when you get there, just call out the Amen. Amen. The writer says, And they came to Jericho, as he went out of Jericho with his disciples. And a great multitude, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. 
Jesus. And then he charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thy son of David and mercy on David and mercy on David. Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the, the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise. He called it. He called it. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go my way. My faith has made thee whole, and immediately he received his sight, watched this, and he followed Jesus in the way. Brother Carnes, I want to look, if I could, at verse number 47, 48 of the A clause of 49. I want to draw my subject from he says and when he had heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry out and say Jesus thou son of David have mercy on me and many charged him that he should hold his peace but he cried out the more a great deal thou son of David have mercy on me and the Bible says and Jesus stood still I want to talk to you all from this subject tonight, if I could, if y'all just give me about 20, 25 minutes. I want to talk to you all from this subject, very simple, holla until he hears you. I wonder if you would just touch somebody to your right or to your left, look him in the face and say, neighbor, you need to holler until he hears you. Now understand you here, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, all of you who are part of a household of faith and deed because of the death, the burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which has in turn made us all heirs and again joined in Everyone, I've learned, everyone, 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 everyone in this everyone life has, has some, some type of obstacle. obstacle. I've learned that everyone learned in this everyone life, beloved brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters has some, has some type of disadvantage. Type of disadvantage. Everyone, 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 no matter everyone, what walk of life you come from, you come they have from, some type of hindrance that stands in their way. Some type of situation, be it physical and or spiritual. Something that we have to deal with. Something that we struggle with. Something that is in our lives for the purpose of causing us to feel. Sometimes if his God does not care, nor does he understand. But I've learned also, my beloved brothers and sisters, that it's also a fact that God, even though we have issues, even though we have hindrances, even though we have obstacles, even though we have disadvantages in our lives, I've learned that God does not always remove these handicaps. Whether they be spiritual and or physical, he does not always remove these situations. But he does, however, give us the ability to overcome them. Even when the thing even seems to be so great in our lives that it looks like that there's no way that we're going to be able to rebound and or get free from that which we're dealing with. The fact of the matter is, is that God specializes in giving us the ability to overcome circumstances and situations in our lives that are supposed to take us out. However, my friends, to fully understand and to appreciate our text today, we must understand the context in which it is said. I've learned, I've learned, I've learned, Pastor Campbell, that, that you've got to understand the past in order to appreciate the present. I'm a slow starter, but we all going to get there in a few minutes. First of all, first of all, you've got to understand that this is an episode, if you will, that takes place during the last days of Jesus' ministry. When you begin to study this particular passage of Scripture, you will understand that he, he's been teaching on marriage and on divorce. He's, he's, he's blessed little children. He tells us about faith and how our faith must be like theirs. The Bible declares that he counsels the rich young ruler and tells him that in order for him to inherit eternal life, that he must sell his possessions and that he must follow him. As we begin to study the Holy Spirit, specifically this passage of Scripture, we find that Jesus in this particular book, he's been teaching that with God all things, things are possible. He predicts uh, for the third time his death and his resurrection. When you begin to study this, you'll understand that he 
teaches us that there is greatness in service. And that's one of the major problems that we have in the 21st century church. I've learned one of the major problems that we have in the 21st century church is that everybody wants to be seen. But nobody wants to be seen in service. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me, but I'm gonna get there anyway. And now, now as we begin to look in this passage of scripture, we find him journeying, if you will, from, from Galilee to Jerusalem. And on his way, the Bible declares that he stops through Jericho. This, this is the place.